Bitcoin on the daily chart, which hasn't sell loss the last 24 hours. Back on the 3rd, I also made a video with this chart. I was looking for more downside correction here as well. Now, it did not come back up to my area of symmetry resistance, continues to sell off. So I'm still looking for the next pullback at these levels. I just got to still follow through on my trading plan. I could look for these smaller pullbacks. We may have a bigger pullback, such as ones like this, before continue sell off as well. What I can do, I can start to measure this piece right here from this pivot low to pivot high. I like to see if it's going to match up with some 200 moving averages on the daily chart. So I'm going to try it right now. If I start to click from that pivot low, pivot high, pivot low, that still brings me up above that 200 moving average. I'm very particular about pullbacks. I like to see pullbacks are going to start matching up. So what we can do right here, I can start to measure this piece right here from this pivot low to pivot high. Okay, I'm going to start to use that piece. So I'm going to click from here, pivot low, pivot high, projecting to this new recent low. And that brings it a little bit closer, kind of mapping out what's going to happen next couple of days, potential plays. I'm looking for a pullback. Now I'd like to see more sell-offs with Bitcoin. What's going to provide me is with a deeper pullback. But when it starts to bounce, I like to use that 200 moving average on the daily chart. If that happens, let's just say it brings us back down to around 42,000, 41,000. 800 and some change right around that level. I'm going to start to map out my symmetry resistance clicking from that pivot low, pivot high, pivot low. Okay. And that would be two price relationships. I really like to utilize that 200 moving average. This is the trading plan. I don't always get it. In addition, I can use my fib retracements if I have a pullback that also has a 618 retracement. Looking out into the future, I'm simply looking at all right, I'm looking for a pullback to this 200 moving average from here. I need that resistance to hold so I have more downside correction. Until this pattern starts to appear, there's something for me to do on this chart. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.